crisscross each other. Now Cote trying to center. Bouncing puck. Hayward trying to cover up on it. And a big pile up. And finally, play whistled down by referee Dave Newell. And then somebody, I think Chelios, took a shot at Dale Hunter. Well, with Hunter and McClay on the same line, you know, something might happen. Quebec would be advised to try and push and shove a little bit to get their emotions up. They're not playing real well in this game. They've got the good ideas. They're passing the puck somewhat, but they're not finishing at all. And you can see the nerves have gotten to them. And the best way to get rid of the nerves is go and bump and grind and feel better about yourself. Seven. A drop kick with a shot. Off Hayward and up into the crowd. And we'll get a face off. And the Montreal end of the rink and also some milling around in behind the Canadians goal. It's been milling around twice in this first period. Both times Hunter and McRae were on the ice for Quebec. Ogradnuk took the long shot. Montreal won't mind that at all. He is the sniper on the left. Naslund with Scrudland also on the play as Swoboda couldn't get the shot off with Swoboda as Rochefort was there to break it up. And then Rochefort knocks Swoboda down and Norman Rochefort will get a cross-checking penalty. Montreal with a two to nothing lead. And now the Canadians will have a power play opportunity with the penalty to Rochefort. Intercepting for Montreal, centered in front of Lemieux, shot wide. Here's Robinson. Lemieux is down on the ice and injured. And now that stops play and brings some big boos from this crowd in Quebec City. Lemieux has a habit of dropping a lot, but I don't think he would drop when their team was on the power play. He was hit by Picard just as he was releasing the shot from the slot area, and he got it right in the area that might hurt him the most, and that's in the mouth. <laughs> With the score. And here's a Grodner. And now, over on the other side, Lemieux pounding away with one of the Nordiques. Lemieux still throwing them. I think it's Gillis. Correction, make that Finn. Finn landed the first punch. But of course, Lemieux wears that helmet and visor. It came off. This was way back behind the play. Believe me, Finn landed the first one, and then Lemieux overpowered. And Ordeca knocked him down. Michelle Bergeron told us today just how tough a customer Finn is, and he and Lemieux just squared off there, and we'll get penalties. Major penalties handed out to the two combatants, Finn and Lemieux. See, Lemieux doesn't really want to go. Now watch, bang, there's the first shot by Finn. Aslan accepting a pass from Scrudland. The Scrudland a drive! Gosla reached back and grabbed it about six inches from that goal line. And then Scrudland got hammered, a three on two. You know, Quebec came down, it was Goulet that took the shot and missed the net. Whoa. You hear Noel yelling at the players to loosen up here, back off. The defensemen are in tight for Montreal. That faceoff should come outside now. Scrudland's the man that had the shot, but Goulet missed the net. When he missed the net so badly, the puck came right around the corner and out of the zone and sprung Montreal on a three on two. And <laughs> you see the after effects from Chopper Scrudland right there. Piece of it, and then it's cleared out by Quebec. And as Nyland plays the puck, offside is called. And as Nyland is brushed and now offended, <laughs> he took a little bit of a figure skating move and then took a little flip to draw the attention of the crowd and the officials. <laughs> Boss was the only right-handed centerman of the four. So that means they have three left-handed centermen. That's why Naslin is playing on the right side to try and get the puck. Here we see the body checks. Gillis is going after Larry Robinson, and that was in the game plan. That's what Bergeron wanted. But you see Big Bird there just back up. Gets it back to Rochefort, shooting. Hayward a save, and Green controls the rebound. And then it's shot to center. As Hayward almost gets into it with one of the Nordiques, and now Ludwig pins that Quebec player against the board. And that's Gillis, Ludwig and Gillis. Gillis went to the net and Hayward dropped down and made a save and Ludwig ran Gillis right into the goaltender. Hayward talking about that shift where they played against each other. Hunter's 5'9", 190 pounds. And Bobby Smith much bigger. You see them working against each other. Hunter doing what he does best and clinging to Smith in his own zone. Bobby Smith a long one down the ice. Pin back to get it. And as uh, he missed it, they rose, so there's no ice. Now Lafreniere trying to clear it centered. This one's over. And Quebec win this game 
3-2 series side, three games apiece. Uh -oh. And the boys go to work at the end of the game. Uh-oh, the both benches have emptied. The game is over, 3-2 Quebec, and a big, big comeback. Corson's in front. The linesmen are with Corson and a Quebec Nordique player. And that's now broken up. That was Finn that he was with, and things are starting to settle here a little bit. Boy, what a story. The last time these two teams met in the playoffs, 84-85, that went seven games. The seventh game in Montreal, Quebec won 3-2. Gosselin, the winning goal, Tanner Peter Stasny scored the winning goal. And here we go, Larry Robinson now with Dale Hunter. This just might explode. Looked like it settled down for a moment, but now it looks rather nasty once again. The game is over. Quebec has won three to two. Series is tied three games apiece. But the Nordiques and the Canadians want to continue. <laughs> think there will be fines. One of the things with the seventh game coming up is if you're the coach of either of these clubs, you're concerned about somebody being suspended and not available for that last game. Now everybody races out to Corson. And Lambert, who were pushing. Yeah, you're right, Dan. Seventh game coming up in Montreal, two nights from now. Boy, I just, it's unbelievable the way that Quebec came back in this hockey game. Bergeron went down right down to three lines. Simon Nolet on the Quebec bench trying to wave his players back towards their bench. Not a lot going on here. Here we go. They're going to split it up now. And it'll be a rousing send off by the fans. Uh oh, the Mew now and Gillis. And some of the Nordiques are trying to pull Gillis away. So that draws the crowd back over to the other side. After orders seem to be restored. You know, I used to hate this song. They start singing this goodbye song to the opposition. Not too often. We used to come in here and win hockey games and there's nothing worse than hearing them sing that song after you'd lost a hockey game. Some of the Nordiques now head for their locker room, but some remain, as do most of the Canadians. And you just hope that well, they get off the ice before yeah. ruining what's been an excellent hockey game uh, here tonight. Great third period. The first two periods, it was sort of a game of chess, but let's uh, let's break it up and get off the ice, boys. Enough's enough. Tell you, the big boys for Quebec in the third period had an outstanding period. Talking about their two best defensemen in Picard and Rochefort. I'm talking about their forwards in Goulet, Peter Stasny, and Ogrodnik, along with Dale Hunter. Goulet, Ogrodnik, and Rochefort scoring. Rochefort, the game winner, 15 23. 